and welcome back to my videos Beauty and Kills by Meg here talking all things wavy and curly. If you're new here welcome and don't forget to subscribe and if you're coming back for more welcome back as always. So on today's video I thought I'd be discussing finding the right products for your curly hair. So I get asked quite a lot in my videos what products do you use? Also um, I get DMs asking for what products they should use and I cannot tell you what products to use on your hair without actually seeing it and without you describing it. But at the end of the day, we all have different curl types. What might work for my hair might not work for yours. And especially in the beginning of my curly journey, I used to just buy things, whatever people recommended, but they might have had completely different hair type to mine. So some of the products got a bit wasted because they were no good for my hair. So we're going to discuss how to find the right products for your hair and not so much the curl pattern, it's more the porosity and the hair texture that we need to find out to see what's suitable for your hair type. Even though curl pattern might not matter as much, we still need to know whether you are wavy or coily because that can determine what kind of products as well because wavy hair is not as dry as coily hair. Finding your hair's porosity is really important. So you're going to determine whether your hair is low porosity or high porosity. And how do you determine this? Well, there are a lot of experiments online about a glass and whether your hair, if it's high porosity, it'll sink straight to the bottom. If your hair is to hover in the middle, then it is medium porosity. And if it's low porosity, it'll float on top. So I will do that experiment and you can see. Say to put a clean strand of hair in, so this is what I've done. Just placed it on top. It didn't seem like it was doing anything at first. It was like a long piece all the way from the top to the then bottom. After I left it for a couple of minutes, it all sank straight to the bottom. This experiment worked with my hair because my hair is high porosity. But my hair is high porosity. So how do I know this? So high porosity hair absorbs moisture more quickly. You know, products, I need a lot of products on my hair. So it just absorbs really quickly. And with high porosity hair, it dries really quickly. Then low porosity hair, how do you determine if you're low porosity? Low porosity has a hard time of absorbing moisture. It kind of sits on top. So products tend to sit on top rather than absorbing in as well as high porosity hair. And also it takes a long time um, to dry low porosity hair. The good thing about low porosity hair is it locks in moisture more easily. So if you was to get a spray bottle and spray all your hair then it would you would see like beading because it would just stay on top so it's harder. With my hair being high porosity I need like products with like butters in right thick products but then my hair is medium density so i'm kind of stuck in the middle because i've got high porosity hair what requires lots of products and because my hair is medium density i have the in between of needing thicker more products and trying not to weigh my hair down because it's medium density so starting off with shampoos then so curly hair naturally is drier than straight hair uh, wavy hair might not be as dry as curly hair but it is still a drier texture than straight hair um, so moisturizing shampoos really tend to help um, with that so if you like a three four hair type that tends to be quite dry so you need a lot of moisture but like type two hair is not as dry so um but still a moisturizing shampoo um, helps whether wavy or curly. What shampoos and conditioners do you need to look out for then? I tend to just go for the curly hair, the shampoo and conditioner because that is specifically designed for um, curly hair. You also want to go for sulfate free shampoos because they retain moisture. Next, leave-in conditioners, they're really important. Um, so for wavy hair types then a light leave-in or a spray would help or for curly coily hair then you might want to add thicker creams um, I kind of go in between uh, with my hair type I tend to have leave-in conditioners and some creams some really thick creams don't really work on my hair type um, but yeah probably thicker creams would be great for type 4 
detail. Styling products for definition and hold. So depending on what kind of definition and hold you want, there's lightweight cream, which is ideal for soft, touchable curls, uh, but you won't have much hold with those. Uh, but it's just what you prefer because a lot of people don't really like the feel of the curl creams and the gels. So, um, but still it helps with the moisture of your hair and not to be too frizzy and to help tame that frizz. Curl enhancing gels. They really help to hold your curls so you can get a light hold gel or a really strong hold gel, whichever you prefer. And this helps with definition and to help hold them curls. Mousses are great for volume without weighing your hair down um, and also still give that hold. Curl defining creams, they also give a hold, um, but also just depending on your hair type, um, some can be heavy and some can be lighter than others. So if your hair is more wavy, you probably don't want to go for um, a really thick cream. Uh, you probably want to go for a lightweight cream, but also those can have a little bit of hold. They give curl structure without that stiff feeling. Really great tip is consider professional advice and like a curly hair specialist would really help. And they can look, be a little bit more expensive, but like say like the first time you want to just have some advice, I think that is worth it. I think it's really worth it to go to a specialised hairdresser and ask for curly hair advice because they are happy to give it you. Um, I think that's important, especially the hair, like the hairdresser where I go to. Um, I see her and I hear what she's speaking to clients and she, she knows her stuff. So it is definitely worth it to see a hair specialist, um, like a curly hair specialist um, that cuts hair and that works with curls all the time. Um, it's really helpful. I know there's a lot of content creators out there that offer advice. I mean, I tend to not de like answer DMs as much anymore, but I try my best because they're all kind of the same kind of questions and a lot of my videos answer all these questions. So I tend to not answer as much nowadays, um, but a lot of people do. Specific brands as well, you can message them. They're always happy to help because they want to sell your products that so they're interested in helping you find the right product for your hair. You might notice on a lot of curly hair websites that they offer curl quizzes. Curl quizzes are really good because they go through um, what hair texture you've got, uh, what porosity is it, is it damaged from bleach, is it damaged from colour, is it damaged from heat styling for years. It asks you all those questions and then at the end they give results and I actually thought it'd be fun to show you myself doing a curl quiz so I'm going to show you that video now. I chose to do the Trelux curl quiz because I have so much of their products anyway so here we are let's start. This is handy it's asking what a strand of my hair looks like so straight or barely wavy, wavy, wavy curly, curly coily or coily so I choose wavy curly. Next, it's asking what my curls have been through lately. So colour treated, straightening, heat, hormonal changes, chemo curls, curl neglect due to illness. Non applicable, I think I'm going to choose the colour treated one. Someone's asking what my hair strands are like. So my hair diameter, fine, thinner than a single thread, medium, similar to a single thread, Thick, thicker than a single thread. And I chose medium. Next is the hair density. So if you grab a section of your hair, how much will you see? So I chose medium density. Next is asking for my hair goals. So what keeps me frustrated wanting answers? So anti-frizz, moisture balance, tangle free. I chose anti-frizz, lasting definition and colour care. And it's good because when you take these quiz, they usually give you a discount code if you enter your email or you can just skip it. And it's just calculating all my results now. So now it's telling me based on my choices, I need to cleanse. And it's telling me about the product. Next it's telling me what conditioner I need to use. So I need the leave-in, untie the knot conditioner. Next it's telling me my styling products, which is best to use. So it's telling me to use the high definition gel and the curl defining reflex serum. 
So after doing the curl quiz, I decided to give you a little tutorial of using all these products. I wanted to show you my results after their recommendations. They also recommended that when it comes to the stylers, to style on soaking wet hair for the best results. And it really did just that. You saw that curl quiz really helped. It gave me the best advice of what products to use. And I actually use these products anyway all the time. So that is comforting to know as well that I'm actually still using the right products for my hair type. Um, so yeah, go and give them a go, try a curl quiz, see what you think. I hope this video has helped in choosing the right products for your curls and waves. And if it has helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow for more.